The Last Ronin is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book that was conceptualized in 1987 by the original creators Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman. Three decades later, when Eastman and writer Tom Waltz were finishing up their last issues on their run of the IDW TMNT comic, they decided with Mr. Laird's blessing to go forward with the idea of a dark future Ninja Turtle story that would flash forward into the dark future, where only one Ninja Turtle was left standing. Despite being produced during the height of the 2020s pandemic, Last Ronin was a huge hit, not only selling out at comic book stores, but getting action figures figures based on it, and a video game adaptation early in development at the time of this video's creation. At this point, I'd almost describe The Last Ronin like the Ninja Turtles equivalent of The Dark Knight Returns, where he got this neat what-if story that manages to surpass the popularity of the main comic for a while. The Last Ronin is quite the gritty story, going with the no-nonsense original Mirage comics tone and the more colorful flavor of the animated series and movies, which does disappoint me as a fan of the latter, but it is neat seeing that tone revisited for Ninja Turtles. Speaking of, I don't think this story will do anything anything for you if you aren't familiar with a TMNT property or have emotional connections to Ninja Turtles since this is very much the final story for the Turtles. Being a flash forward dark future final story, Last Ronin does play with some of the tropes associated with it like character offsprings being major characters or revisiting old concepts that the characters are shocked by, but it does those elements fairly well, especially with the over the top edgy main villain of the whole story, Oroko Hiroto. I love this guy, he's just lashing out at everyone with his edgy as hell dialogue and gets a pretty cool futuristic update of the Shredder suit later on. Now we get to who the last Ronin is. It's Michelangelo. Now for me, Mikey has always been defined by the animated incarnations of him, where he's been a big jokester, but in this comic, having lost his family, he's more akin to Raphael. He's cautiously cold and even gets close to offing himself in one scene. It's depressing as hell when you learn the light of the team is now the only one around and has become a dark force of revenge. I do applaud the creative team of not going for the obvious Raphael, and I get why this characterization was done for Mikey, but I personally would have liked to see a bit more of Mikey's comedic aspects in this comic. Just just tweak to fit his current circumstances. Like, you could have had him use some egotistical bravado personality to cover up his angst, but that's just my idea, and this is still a fine characterization for the story. Overall, The Last Ronin is a pretty solid comic book, and I see why it was a big success, from the post-apocalypse reimagining of the TMNT world to the introspective character arcs. Ultimately, it's great to see Kevin Eastman still involved with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise all these years later, along with being so passionate about The Last Ronin book, he, Tom Walt, and the wonderful artist he made. This is a bit buster, saying that I wrote a Rise of the TMNT retrospective script but I never got around to recording it, so like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see that or something, I don't know.